everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Mat Feeds the Beast on the Zombie Taco Cube server. Um, I have been just trying to gather materials um, with my bees so that I can upgrade our, my industrial blast furnace so that I can stop using fishes and so that I can smelt tungsten so that I can uh, get my nano saber and all that good stuff. And I finally have enough materials, so we're going to go check the bees real quick and see what they've got for us. And then we'll come back and we'll start getting that put together. And then we will, maybe we'll go take a look at uh, what Lone Dog's got going on out at his place. Because I don't, I know I went out there, but I think it might have been cut from one of the videos. So we'll just go take a look. Oh, yay. Three of them. I, those ones are so slow. That's better. Um, that's better. Yeah, if you guys can think of anything to speed up the valuable queens... Ooh! Just had another. The valuable queens, um, they're on... Their, their speed is faster right now. It's not fastest, because I haven't gotten into the Thomcraft bees yet. Um, but if you guys know of a way to speed them up a little bit more, I would appreciate it, because they're so slow, and they're my only source of iridium right now. Um, speaking of, iridium nugget. Don't have enough. Dang it. Um, I do have nine tucked away here. I think, think I need twelve total to make the nano saber. Um, because you've got to make the plates. So there's eight right there, and then, yeah, one right there. So I need twelve. Um, do I need, nope, just tungsten. Yeah. So I need, what, n three more? And I've got, like, half of one. So, ah, rain. Uh, let's see if we can sleep real quick. Get rid of this rain. Can only sleep at night. And I don't have a dissipation charge either. Okay. Um, so let's go like this. Uh, la la la. Video settings. Particles. Minimal. There we go. That's better. Okay. So. I've been farming materials to get. Um, these advanced machine casings. And I have enough now. Um, took a whole boatload of chrome, some iridium, some emeralds, so we're going to go ahead and make all of these. So we got 36 of those. We're going to need a couple of buckets. Let's throw this stuff up here and down into our place here, into the basement. I also built this little monitor up here, um, which will tell you how how long it's going to take to make whatever you put in and how long it's been. So um, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the power just to be safe. Oh, I was apparently making steel. And oh. Um, shoot, can I just, okay, cool, I can just pop these off like this, dunk, okay, dunk, and that one can come off no problem, that one can come off no problem, there's lava in the middle here, and that's, oop, let's, let's make a hole. Yeah, I don't want to... Whew! Got it. And one more. Got it. Cool. I was worried about these falling into the lava. I'm not sure why. I don't know what else I can use them for. Um, but, you know, I, I don't want to break them. I want to keep them. So, whoops. Come on. Uh-huh. 
So there should be 34 of them, and we have 36 of the new ones. Perfect. They're purple. Ooh. Do do. Nope, that doesn't go there. Give me that. Do 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 do. Oh no, the server's gonna restart. Oh no. Um. Uh, okay, well I am gonna pause here and let the server restart, and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back, and server is restarted, and we can put our lava back in. Whoop. So. So putting the lava in the middle gives you like an extra 500 heat or something like that, I think. Um, so it's basically free, free heat on this thing. And one more. Da -da -da. And okay, so that's good. So let's see how much heat we've got. 2,880. Sweet. So let's see, we need um, tungsten for these. And to do tungsten, we need how much heat? 2,500. We have have as much heat as we can possibly need. And we can cook our own chrome here so I don't have to go to Fish's house every time. There's the, uh, oh helps if you connect power to it. There we go. So to cook chrome it takes 40 seconds and that's how far along we are. Um, let's go ahead and throw this stuff in here. Let this centrifuge that stuff out. Um, so yeah we've got we've got a good furnace. I'm gonna max it out. Um, I'm gonna make the different... what are they? Uh, is it, uh, no, not those heating coils. Coil. I'm gonna make these uh, nichrome heating coils and these canthal heating coils. You can put four of each of those in here to run the heat up higher. And um, I guess you can put overclockers in here too. Uh, oh, it's done already. Yay! So I'm gonna, I'll put some overclocker, an overclocker, and maybe a power upgrade and stuff. Um, get this thing juiced up. I also learned that you can put more than one of these on a body here. So I might make a couple more, that way I can cook more than one thing at a time. Um, I don't know, I'll, I'll have to play with that. But let's, let's come up here and patch our hole. Do, do, do. So, yay, this is... This makes me happy because now I don't have to use fishes. Uh, I don't have to go use fishes furnace, which I feel bad because I'm always using all all of his power um, when I do it because he's only got it hooked up to some generators, um, or his mine will stay stay charged through our nice system here. Um, I did learn I can't run both of these at once. Um, so I've got to oh, make another chrome here. Sorry, easily distracted. I hear a bat. Get in there. Um, so yeah, I can... I'm gonna have to take another MFE and run it over here or something. Um, that way I can run them simultaneously. And... Let's see what else. This is my assembling machine, which I needed to make certain parts for that. Um, my implosion compressor that I've hidden under the floor here. I don't know if I showed anybody this before, but yep. So that's how I make my my fancy high-end stuff here. Uh, it's kind of just a mishmash in here of putting things together. I do have some dark iron so I can make the bigger um, bigger barrels. I need to make some 
a bigger one for the propolis and the honey and stuff. Um, Wallace has been chilling. I don't know if he's stuck or something, but he has been back here all week. Hasn't moved. It's nice because I don't have to go looking for him. Um, but I'm not sure why he's there. Um, anything else going on in here? Wasn't sure if you needed some of this still. No dice, Mike. Look at that. He brought us some copper. That was nice of him. Um, BNA is almost full. Uh, da -da -da. I don't remember dig digging this out, but I probably dug it out looking for those slimes. Um, that's pretty much all that's going on around here. This is this has been my week getting the bits for this together to upgrade it so that I can make the nano saber, which hopefully next episode maybe we'll be able to make it. Um, if not, it'll probably be a couple episodes later. Uh, actually, I'm sure it's going to be a couple episodes later because I've got a friend coming in from Australia. Um, that knows everybody, and she's going to be staying here with me and Stacy. and I don't know how much I'll be on, so I'm probably going to record a couple episodes to, that way you guys have stuff to look forward to. I mean, you'll have my other series, too, my Bioshock, which I did record an episode, I just didn't get it up this week, and, uh, and my Knock Knock, which I've got episodes ready to go up on that, so I think I'm going to do Knock Knock on Mondays, Bioshock on Wednesdays, and try and have some Minecraft episodes coming up on Fridays, and I think that's going to be my schedule. Um, subject to change, pending, pranks, and all that kind of fun stuff, of course. Um, but that's, that's the gist of it. I did... Oh, I know what else I did that I haven't shown you guys. I killed a couple of withers. I killed two. Um, and another star from the first one disappeared. I don't know where it went. Um, actually, let's see if we can use these for anything. Let's take a look here. Uses. No. Well, that's lovely. Boink. So we got 36 standard machine casings that we can use for nothing. How do they look? Eh. I do kind of like the way they connect. I'll find something to use them for. Do, do, do. Um. And throw this up here. Throw this up here. Um. Yeah, anyway, so I... I did take down a couple of withers and got myself another star. I'm not sure what happened to the other one. It I killed the wither and I went down and it wasn't on the ground. So that one is lost. Let's have a moment of silence for the lost another star. Okay, that's enough of that. Um do 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 Should I do another star. We got the new furnace up and running. We don't have anything going on here. Um, my nice little potion stand the, for my wither killing needs. Um, oh, I did a bunch of enchanting of books, um, which was what I was doing in Mike's last video when he came, and after he found the Winnebago, which he loved, um, he found me and he gave me some victory diamonds. Uh, which I saw he wanted, he tried to make a block and was having trouble, so I went ahead and put it in a block, and, oh, I can show you guys that. But anyways, I, uh, was enchanting books, so I've got a nice setup here with, you know, all my different enchantments. I enchanted my nano suit here. Um, I did it at his base because he's, I haven't built a mob grinder yet, so. Um, but I have down here... These are my my trophies for different achievements or stuff on the server um, that Mike's given me. So he gave me um, these. Um, kind of when the server first started, I 
I don't remember what I did, I broke something of his, so he gave me the Trousers of Shame, um, which I think he just got off of a mob and renamed. So, whoop. There we go. And then, because I knew that it, the Winnebago was called the Eagle 5, he gave me the Massive Nerd shirt. And... Uh-oh, where'd that go? Ooh, there you are. Woo! So yeah, this was the diamonds he gave me. I made into a block and named it the Eagle 5 Victory Diamonds. So, we'll put that there. We're just... He stuck these two there, and I'll stick that one there, and that'll be how my achievements go. Um, also, if you watched Mike's last video, you'll notice that he's having some terrible, terrible dreams. Um, I just, I hope they're not going around to everybody, and I, I hope he can sleep better. Oops, speaking of sleep, it's uh, going to be dark here soon, so I'm going to go sleep and head on over to Lone Dogs, and we'll take a look at what's going on over there in just a little bit. I'll see you when we get there. Alright, so here is Lone Dog's place. He is not currently on the server. He was on a little while ago. Um, yeah, he's got a couple little farms set up. This is his house that he built like his first day, um, which looks really nice. Um, and he found these like stained glass panes that I knew nothing about. Um, I still don't know what kind of panes. These must be a different colored stained glass pane, white and black maybe. Um, but yeah, he found these stained glass panes and put them up and I was like, oh wow, this looks really nice. Different materials and so here's here's his little house. Oh he's got a never noticed his little pathway here. There's his dog, Wolf. Um, I don't know if he's named him yet. Uh, a little dog house. And just just a bed, pretty basic. Little armor stand. We'll go upstairs. So he's just got some basic machines up here. I love how he did this. You come up to the second floor here, but then you can go down to his little wiring area. Uh, bat box. Bat box. Huh. But yeah, so he's got these all running off of that and I know, I think he got some materials from Mike and built a couple of solar panels. Yeah, right here. So I think that's what he's using for power right now, is just these guys. Um, then he started building this, and uh, I gave him a bunch of clay for it, but he's progressing quite nicely on it. It's Oh, he's got his wind power up. He got that up the other night. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he built this cool little staircase. Um, his accents are just amazing. I love love the way it looks. Um, let's come up here, take a look, see what's going on in here. So this is just the, the catwalk or something. Um, there's probably a, supposed to be a door there. Um, that looks really nice together, those slabs. Got a bookshelf up here, some lights, a little writing room, desk, some books. What if I do this? Oh, that's cool. I like that. Is this... Maybe that's supposed to be a pen or something. Um, what else we got here? Oh, he's got holes here. What's going on there? Um, we're over here. Let's take a look at this first. So this, just a room. Nothing, nothing too fancy going on in here. He is a really good builder. Um, we've all noticed that his designs are very, very nice looking. Okay. Oh, another missing door. Restricted area authorized personnel only. 
Oh, oh, he took this out. Darn it. I was actually planning to screw with him because there was a door here and some pipes up here. That's what was there. Um, and I saw this sign and I wanted to, I was going to build like the hazmat suit and go running in there and cause trouble. Um, but I don't know where, where his stuff went. Oh, he's got this little, huh, little like, crown molding or whatever. Uh, he's got this room up here. And he doesn't have, oh, okay. So he's got a bunch of blue electricity stuff up here. Is this is a uh, blue electric engine? Oh, that's cool looking. And that, oh, I didn't even know it had engines like that. I like the way that looks. That is cool. Um, so yeah, he's got his blue blue electric stuff going up here, which... How much power does it put out? Uh, crap, can we pulverize a bucket? Yes, we can. Puts out f at least four? Holy crap! Whoa! That thing's going crazy. What did... Three iron dust, okay. Huh. That's... Those look m very efficient. Huh! It's cool to see him doing something else that we haven't really done. Oh. There we go. I guess if you get in the hitbox for these. Oh, it doesn't let you. Stop tweaking out. Oh, there's one behind me, that's why. He's got three of them now. Oh. He didn't have three before. I thought there was only two. Um, anyways, yeah, so this is Lone Dog's place. He's pretty close to Fish, who has built another tower over here. He keeps rearranging stuff. Um, this is, I'm g gonna refer to this as his Tower of Power. Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. It looked around for a second. Something's on fire. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna call this his Tower of Power, because <laughs> he's got some solar panels up here, just regular ones. Um, and then he's got that running down. Uh, it's all in glass viewers, so I don't know what he's planning with it. Um, but he's got his bees going in there. I see his tree. Oh, he's got cherry trees on it. So he's he's cross a crossbreeding fool, having fun with that. Um, and then his farm. I came and gave him all of the animals that he could possibly need. Um, I think that's about it for this episode, though. I'm gonna go do some more material gathering. Oh, he's got a sign. What's the sign say? Sugarcane, flax, farm guy. Corn, wheat, potatoes, carrots. Oh, I see. So he's got it lined out for... Ah, oh, nice. So, he's also built these roadblocks, which look cool, and I was like, oh, when I was walking across them earlier, I'm like, it kind of feels weird walking on them. Like, the uh, speed's different or something. And I figured out why. It's because these are not... They behave kind of like ice. Like, if I throw a carrot, it lands there, and it doesn't... It slides a little bit. Maybe. But, if you come over on the road, and you throw it, it slides for a ways. And, yeah, you if you stop, you slide too. So, like if I go sideways, and I let go of the key, you kind of slide a little bit. So, I don't know if that's what he was planning, or if he's even noticed, but... Whee!
<laughs> That's how uh, how these roads work apparently, and I know they have road lights. Um, so I don't know if they're supposed to be for like conveying items or something. Whee! <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be all for this episode. Um, I'm going to try and get some automation going with the the bees um, so that they run through the combs automatically and I don't have to worry about logging on and making sure everything's cleared out. Um, that way, while I'm away with company, they're good to go. So we'll probably work on that next time. I'll see you all then. Bye.